share this. I think I'm live. You're live. Hello. Hello. Where Everyone, are you? Where can you find this? Tell me, Edwin. Hey, tell hey, me about hey, Edwin. What the oh, hell is this? Well, hold on. Can I finish my sentence? Um, my name is Edwin Rogers. <laughs> I'm trying to go live with this show. It's called Be Here. Um, you can find it at, um, let me see. Actually, I'm not really sure. My YouTube channel, first of all, yeah, is, uh, you know, it's YouTube. So it's uh, youtube.com slash VR video. And if you like literally type VR video in the search, a lot of things are going to pop up. You have to write youtube.com slash VR video. And it, this should be live there now. And uh yeah i guess and and then it's it's also on facebook so on my facebook um so yeah all right let's see is it we're live right now are we yeah we're live right now so, oh, tell, so i'm live with richard over here who is working on some amazing um projects uh basically called startup house and he's gonna tell us a little bit more about what startup house is and what's the vision yeah, absolutely. My name is Richard Lin. I'm based in upstate New York, Troy, New York right now. And we're building Startup House, a impact-driven co-living community for kick-ass entrepreneurs. So really the idea is we bring together awesome entrepreneurs to come and build their companies uh, together. And we form a community, we foster that community because we all know that a community drives you forward and with people that are also building companies and also going through all the hard times and all the good times, that roller coaster ride of building a company, you grow faster, you grow stronger, and you're there to support each other. So first and foremost, it's the community and it's your peers that you're building companies with. So just because you build a company by yourself or with one other co-founder doesn't mean you have to be alone, right? We let you tap into this network of these other awesome entrepreneurs that are building with you. And we bring in resources, mentors, and everything else you ever need to kickstart your company and get it off the ground. Awesome. I, I, I personally am a kick-ass entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I love, I love uh, um, working on businesses and companies. And so how could I... You know, especially nowadays with this, with with, yeah. with the way everybody's chilling in their basement right now, um, how could I connect with with Startup House and where is it at and what you know, what is it? Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Great, great question. So the first place I would point you to is our website, startuphouse.live, L-I-V-E, mm -hmm. uh, and over there you'll find a link to our online community that we're building right now. So we have a Facebook group, we have an active online community uh, that we're building and everyone uh, talks about what they're doing, everyone engages and uh, gives advice, asks questions, you talk about your challenges, all of that. And uh, come to our happy hours, that's linked on our website as well. We do daily happy hours every day at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And we have people from all over the country and all over the world showing up and it's really cool because you get to make connections with people from all over. Uh, just the other day, uh, my friend who runs uh, the machine learning and AI um, department for a large publicly traded company, uh, he said, hey, Richard, I'm, it's great. He just jumped on to catch, catch up. We had, like, haven't, hadn't talked since college. And he was like, hey, I'm like hiring data scientists and data visualization and ML and AI people left and right. And there's like remote positions and everything. And I literally texted another one of my friends to come on and I made that connection. So connected someone from Atlanta to someone in Austin and they're gonna chat and see if uh, she's the right fit for the position. And that's like the kind of connections we make across the country. All right, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, okay, I definitely, yeah, I'll put the, the link down there, yeah. start, you know, startuphouse.live. Yeah, check it out. I, I definitely, um, you've been one of the first people to kind of support my platform, um, which I've, you know, been working on, um, which is called Setup Remote. That we, what we do is we um, uh, have custom branded uh, 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 video conferencing. And so, I mean, it, it's been fun um, meeting new people, like actually, so, you know, right now, a lot of people are stuck at home and it's hard to meet new people when you don't leave the house. But thanks to you, um, I, I was able to, you know, just have a, have a happy hour drink um, and talk to really cool entrepreneurs that are all going through the same thing and just connect. So I'm definitely a huge fan and I definitely um, recommend to anybody out there, yo, you know, 
connect with people, find ways to meet new people. Um, I've been saying, why don't we just, um, instead of just social distance, let's distance socialize. We, yep. we're, we're, we're far away, but that don't mean we can't play. And let's just socialize. Let's have fun. Let's, let's engage uh, one another and uh, um, try to find a ways to, to believe that tomorrow is going to be a better day, day than, 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 than today. It's, it, you know, the sun is shining. Thank exactly. goodness. Spring is here. It's a lot less cold. And uh, soon this, this beach will be reality. <laughs> I love it. No, absolutely. Right. Tomorrow is always going to be a better day than today. And your goal today is to make it a better day than it was yesterday. Exactly. 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 So, yeah, I mean, I definitely have been feeling like, um, I guess it's really hard to, for social people, um, a lot has, has, it's been really a rough time for people recently, but for like, introverts who just want to play video games and code. I mean, which I'm like half that I'm yeah. half, you know, introvert, half social. I feel like it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's been a mix, but, um, but yeah, like connecting with people, talking to people, chatting with people. Um, that's been, that's been, that's been really helpful. Now, um, I kind of have been thinking about, um, especially recently businesses are like struggling a lot and um, trying to find their way um, when there's not a lot of foot traffic or um, I, I, you know, I think what I want to do too is brainstorm ideas that we can help um, with our, you know, with textile skills, um, help people who are interested in, in um, still, you know, growing their business or, or actually, you know, just, just to help people in general. And I feel like, you know, startup house and connecting um, and talking to other people is a good way to do that. Right. Absolutely. And I think everyone, small business owners, startups, everyone who does anything should really look at this as an opportunity, right? We all, our collective tech literacy really ju just jumped overnight. We had to figure out how to use Zoom and Google Me and how to do live streams and how to schedule stuff on calendars. And we got to we had to figure it all out. But take that, build on that and see what we can do to make ourselves, make our, make our businesses, make our startups more resilient to stuff mm -hmm. like, like this in the future. Uh, build on, build a website for your retail business uh, now for this crisis and you can use it afterwards as well. Build your online presence, build your social media, build everything so that once this is over, you can continue building on that and become stronger and better than you were. So yeah. So but hold on. We can build, like I could turn around and half asleep, build a website right. and, then just, and, and it's just boom, it's up and live. But a lot of people don't always have that, that, the you know, and those kinds of skills. And right now there's a lot of, um, people that are, I don't, I know I was just talking to some friends that are struggling right now, looking for clients. They were, they had, um, more of a, uh, a steady role and now they're looking for clients. I think, um, I don't know, is there a way that you can connect? Like you were just saying, you're, you're connecting people with needs that, um, with people with businesses that that have that need um so going to startup house is there a way to connect like there's lots of um developers out there they're super talented um everybody's working remote and that could use extra income is there some way you connect c connect through startup house yeah absolutely uh whoever needs anything send them to me come talk to me and i'm happy to connect you to uh my network open up my network for you if you need a website if you need a social uh, media marketing person. I'm happy to connect you and everyone. It's really awesome now with all the technology we have, everyone can work remotely, right? You yeah. can have uh, a client in California while you're in New York, you can work across across the world. And uh, yeah. I'll, I'm more than happy to open up my network, our startup house network to you, to anyone that's out there who needs help and connect you to someone here locally or another one of my contacts somewhere around the world who are the best at what they do, right? Yeah, but, and uh, we're talking video. about like, yeah, we're talking about like things like, you know, you might, there, there's, um, I think, a growing need for virtual reality, which is yeah. my, you know, what, what I love and specialize in is 360 video and virtual reality. Um, a lot of people in the past 
um, were like, well, that's really nice to have. Um, and now it's a really a need to have. I, I, I remember just a week before lots of things shut down, mm -hmm. um, like Broadway, um, talking to um, uh, leaders in the Broadway um, industry and they were just like, well, um, virtual reality and creating a virtual reality Broadway show is going to be expensive and we have to deal with licensing and we have to be the rights and we have to deal with, with all these different um, avenues. And so they were reluctant to do that. But I think um, it, that was a mistake. We literally um, having virtual reality content where you can put on a VR headset and be on a Broadway show, which is some of the content that I've been creating for, I would say, I have 12 Broadway shows um, mm. that I've that I've created. Um, I guess if you want to check it out, you could go to vrvideo.tv, and I'll put that link up, and and you could see some of the Broadway work that I've done. But but there, it was always one. Um, like it's it, you. Uh, why not? Why why explain it? Let me just show it. Put it up. Show put you it up. guys a little bit of uh, of my work. Um, this is a we're, we're 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 you know this is a fluid show here, um, and so let's just do this right now. We're gonna adapt. We're gonna pivot. We're gonna iterate. Right? That's what entrepreneurs do. <laughs> we're gonna play. We're gonna play. That's we're what I play. do. I, just, I like that. I don't know how to. I don't really know how to do anything serious. So don't listen to anything I say. <laughs> Period. Don't do it. Don't like do it. Right. So anyway, vrvideo.tv. So it's. You know my uh, make you know attempt to to become Hulu or or uh, Netflix. I, I you know I I, I don't really. You going up against those guys? Not. Nice. <laughs> I don't nice. think I could compete. I don't think I could compete. But what I'm trying to do is make it a little bit different. So mm -hmm. this, okay, for example, is my favorite. I, so I do a lot of work for NBC News, and I love this so hold on, let me just go straight oh okay. so ah, there we go and you get to drag and you get to see what's going on yes this is a 360 video now um, the, the quality thank you is not what is it? Hopefully it'll get better. So yeah, you could you basically this is a full dress rehearsal. I shot um and then I digitally removed the the stand. This is a conductor. He's pretending to have an orchestra, but it would have cost an extra twenty thousand dollars. So we didn't have an orchestra. Right. Oh, awesome. And this is Anastasia on Broadway. Beautiful. And you're right there on stage with them. And you could kind of like in a VR headset, you could you could be on a Broadway show on a Broadway stage. Really? Is that is that available now? This platform and the VR and whoa, whoa, whoa. So if you don't know the story, she's Russian princess. And these are her dead parents. And she's like a princess. Hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful.
So I shot a lot of this kind of content. I mean, I could keep going on and on. Um, again, at vrvideo.tv, you can see a bunch of the, the fun stuff that I've, I've done over the past. Um, I want to do more. Um, obviously, love creating um, VR content. But yeah, I mean, I feel like there, this this was a, there's a huge opportunity. What if instead of just one song, it was like a full on play, right. and people who are right now unable to go to Broadway, um, not could be able to go to Broadway. So, I mean, I've been pitching this for almost a year. Because Broadway's special. It is. That's crazy. You're right in it. Uh, this was a fun one too. Beetlejuice. What? Where'd they come from? Hopping out of nowhere. Love it. So what else other than Broadway can this be used for? So you can, let me escape out of this. Ah. <laughs> I got two monitors, so it's tricky to click on things. There we go. There, there we go. Oh, other um, Broadway stuff. I mean, I shot, um, Anyway, I don't want to get too much into bogged into details of my stuff, but yeah, you know, I shot stuff my, you know, my my own kind of. Like you yep. click on this here, this is me and doing my own show. Oh, that's awesome! That is awesome. Yeah, throw back to when uh, we could all gather, right? Exactly. Now, right now, this is like COVID nineteen hazard, no one on one. But, but, uh, but I think that this is coming back. Like tomorrow is is, is going to be a new day, and you know we can't just focus on like what uh, what you know. It, it, we're, there's going to be more um, of this happening. It's just going to take time. Um, yeah. I think soon they're going to have like some kind of a vaccine for everything, and then we'll be all back. I wouldn't say back to normal, but um, but but definitely um, getting closer to our past normal. So sure. yeah, I mean, again, I think to, this, the the whole point of everything is to say. Like I think people are going to rethink their the 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 priorities of things like VR. Like before, again, you know, was is it, is it really necessary to to travel to some exotic beach in a, in a VR headset? And I think um, um, retailers, for example, were really hesitant to do something like that because oh, what if what if people decide oh, I'm going to go to to let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Like, uh, you know, if I if I if I show my case my resort resort on in VR, will people actually travel? And I'm like, who the heck can compare the real experience with a VR experience? It's not the same, you know. It's really it really is not the same. For you know, it's it's nice, um, but. I mean, this is Rotan, for example. I, I love doing these kind. Of, this is me getting a massage. Oh, beautiful! In a, like a private little beach, like that's like six feet long, and I think, I think you know, traveling and doing all these kinds of fun stuff. It's it's now really necessary to get away from your. You know, you you can only binge watch. 
so long. Right. It'll make you want to go there more. Yeah, exactly. That's right. That's, that's that's pretty much how I should have been wording it. Exactly. It's a marketing tool. You see how wonderful it is. And you just want to book your flight right now when it's cheap. <laughs> no, not uh, yeah, right I mean, now. I, it, you know, I, would hope, out. I would hope or just escape your 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 house and feel like you're on a beach. Like right. I remember one time I was in in um where was I? I was in I, it was I was in New York and, and and it was a blizzard. Like I'm talking about no one leaving their house for blizzard reasons. And I was just like everyone was stuck for like a few days and I was just like, you know what? Um I'm going to get a heat lamp, like heater. I'm gonna get a margarita and put on my VR headset and I'm yeah. gonna be on the beach for like a couple hours because honestly. And not leaving the house, might as well just chill. And um, lately I've been feeling like that itch, you know, I, I love to travel. I want to go places. I want to do things. And and um, it's it's really hard when you, you, you're stuck at home, you know? Exactly. Look, like you put on, travel. put on one of these and you're somewhere else, right? Exactly. Exactly. But not everybody has that. And that's another right. thing, like, with that, I, whatever platform I've been trying to work on, um, make it so that, yeah, okay, you don't have your headset, you could click around with the browser like I've just been doing right now, which is not as much fun as, mm -hmm. as actually, you know, viewing it in a headset, obviously. Exactly, right, but it's more accessible to everyone. Everyone can participate on their phone, exactly. their browser, or if you have a VR headset, even better. Exactly, exactly. So, um, so I, you know, I couldn't help but noticing that little rice ball behind you, <laughs> which, I, you know, I don't know why it isn't, behind me well i got this little picture here but 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 tell me a little bit about little rice ball yeah it's a conversation starter everyone asks about it <laughs> so the little rice ball is one of my favorite restaurants here in troy and they opened i think they opened 2018 and they they were here for about a year and they shut down and it's still on the top this is of pre COVID, list. right this is pre -COVID? yes correct 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 and they shut down so, last year and it's, it's still one of the it's on the top of my list for my favorite restaurants of all time and so uh i went to the estate sale for that i was friends with the owner uh and i was like hey jp can i like buy your sign that's hanging outside the store because like he had to get rid of it anyway he was like uh leasing it to someone else right and now there's like a taco bar in there uh <laughs> now in the space but i was like let me buy your sign and like a bunch of your stuff so i can like remember this place because i love it Oh man, I, well I love this sign and I love the name. I'm sad to hear that it's gone, but maybe it'll come back. It'll maybe. resurrect. Exactly. Um, um, I, but I've been thinking a lot about, I guess, you know, people right now that are working in, in restaurants that had um, work and now they're just struggling. Like, or you know, I am wearing a hat like all the time because I want to see what's under here. So I got to find. I wish I, there was like a I could just get a barber or, or, but you know, now you got to do that yourself. So I was thinking like, um, of like an idea, like of maybe finding a way to connect people that are, that are, um, like, you know, a bartender to show me how to mix a cocktail, which mm. I do not know how to do very well. Um, and, or, or cut hair, like so that, so that people would be able to still get some kind of a customer base, even if it's, temporarily um by distance socializing exactly virtual and online virtual virtual that's hashtag yeah. distance socialize make it happen okay make hashtag it make it make it make it, make it make it make it happen make it happen put it on screen let's do it yeah no, so I mean, one of the things i've been doing through one of my other companies is really helping individuals and organizations get online, become more resilient, offer their stuff online. And uh, if you're a yoga teacher, if you're a instructor for like Taekwondo or something, right? You can now teach classes online with all this new technology. You can still exactly. serve your clients, your students, and like they can still get the benefit at home because now everyone- Wait a second, I'll be right back. Yeah. Just to hold that thought. Hold that thought. Can you hold a thought? I'm on it. Yes, you know, just hold it in your brain. I'm on it. I'm on it. Look, 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 a guitar. I got a guitar here in this basement. You gonna play for us? You're gonna play for us, right?
Yeah, right. I'm gonna oh, play. I don't, you, you value your ears. You will turn this this off. This audio off right now. <laughs> Let's hear it. You value your ears. No, there's a guitar. I would love to learn how to play better than this. So that would be a way, you know, I, you know, people, maybe there's musicians that are out there that know how to play. I just found this dusty guitar and I was like, hey, that sounds like cool. I would love to learn how to play. I have a little bit of time on my hands right now. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. How, how do we connect people who have skills that they can teach to people that would love to learn? Yeah. Yeah. we got to figure out how to do that. And, you know, um, I think the, the first step is just connecting and just talking and just chilling. And, and, um, but yeah, I think, I think, I think there are a lot of people out there who would love to contribute this, the talents and skills that they have with others and there's a lot of people who like to learn new skills yeah i don't think this is the right way to do it sounds good right? so <laughs> there's got to be a better way you got this you should be a teacher <laughs> it's got to be a better way to turn me into hendrix in a week no not really so um i think that there's the you know we're going to have to be more creative. We're going to have to be more resilient in this climate. But at the end of the day, too, this is only temporary. You know, think, think, you know the, the, the sun is going to continue to shine. The, the, the earth is going to continue to spin. <laughs> exactly. uh, I think, I think there's, there's the, you know, things are, are, are going to get better and people are going to be more, um, um, I feel like, centered right centered. now. You know, I yeah. feel definitely a lot more centered. Me too. Right now, um, and 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 I, and I, uh, one thing I love too is that because a lot of people, a lot of people are much more available. Personally, I've been able to connect with family, no. um, who I love. But there's like everyone's always busy and this and that. But now, you know, shout out to uh, part house party or whatever that. At blowing up right now, which God bless. This is this, this, it's fun. I I I I would rarely play board games with people in different places, and now it's it's definitely the thing to do. Exactly. exactly. We have <laughs> this is socializing. Time. See, you gotta do right it right down there. there. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do something, right? You gotta try to have fun in your basement or your townhouse whatever it is you know whatever it is whatever reach out it to is. people that you love connect <laughs> with you know your your co-workers or the people that you work with at the co-working space right like the co-working space that i work out of training yeah. garage they do happy hours and they do coffee yeah. chats and their sister space bull moose club does that too and the center of gravity the maker space that i'm out of as well they have social nights every tuesday and they're bringing together their community their creatives and their makers to kind of uh put together a whole production um operation for ppe so they're giving back as well to the community and keeping their members connected for sure and you and i i like you said i appreciate you specifically because you reached out to the Starter Bus community, which we're that's how we know each other. Um, if you don't know about Starter Bus, Starter Bus is a hackathon on a bus ride. Um, so and day, five, five of the most intense days of your life, you build a company in three days on a bus and you pitch it for the last two down in wherever the destination is. And there's buses from all over, we had seven buses from all over the US and uh, freaking Mexico last year. So that was awesome right yeah 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 intense it was really intense so um i i i have done it three times don't ask me why um and <laughs> you love but the game. i love it and 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 now you know um i think that community um is is really important um we, you know every we gotta figure out a way to do a, a virtual hackathon because now it's no longer you know a physical thing like no yeah but but at the end of the day, um, I think we'll figure it all out. So Ooh. I guess that's most of our time for today. Wow, half an hour chatting, um, playing 
horrible music and oh, but good music, the, the ones that I didn't make, the, the you know, the, the Broadway plays. Um, again, um, definitely check out um, startuphouse.live. You Thank can you. reach out to Richard and have fun and meet new people that are very tech savvy um, and, and, and connect. Also, don't forget, if you want to escape for a little bit, vrvideo.tv. So, you know, it's mostly my work. Uh, I, 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 I like it personally. I hope you do too. All right. Well, love all right. you all. And um, I'm going to try to do this consistently. Just talk about with different right. cool people that I, that, that I know. And, oh, if anybody is interested in joining this amazing show, okay, just hit me up. You you got my info. Or if you don't, you, you know, comments on whatever. All right? Talk to you later. See you guys. Peace.